I'm uh, about to demonstrate how to put a chassis together using the Aiken Sideworks chassis squared jig. The chassis I'll be assembling isn't the simplest in the world. It's a Brass Masters 04 diesel with a jack shaft. Um, I'm going to be building it as a compensated chassis. The jack shaft will be fixed, the next axle will be fixed, and the other two will be um, using these bearings that I've as in true blue Peter fashion prepared earlier. Um, coupling rods are prepared, so really it's a case of down to it. The chassis squared comes with short pins and also with longer pins. The reason for the long pins will become apparent in a minute. Both 8 inch diameter and also 2mm diameter. Again, 2mm intended for tenders, but for this chassis they happen to be needed. First thing to do is to set up the uh, pitch of all the pins. The main pitches I've already set. As you can see, the coupling rods have a neat fit both sides. The coupling rods were in fact used for setting them. I wasn't hand fisted, this would be much easier. This may not the coupling rods. There we go. So I'll put the coupling rods to one side. Just to show how it's adjusted, I'll take the jack shaft coupling rod, which as you see is short of the pin, using the adjusting screw, I'll bring the, the pin into alignment, it just drops neatly on, and clamp it down. One side. This chassis has got a 8 inch sleeve bearing, two um, sliding horn blocks, and this is actually a 3mm bar supplied by um, the manufacturer into which a 2mm axle goes for the jack shaft. So I shall replace this with the 2mm axle, which is a long one, and the long ones um, in 2mm normally don't need a pin on the end for adjusting the um, throw of the cranks, but it's already set, so it's not a problem. That comes a short pin. There's a 2mm pin. We recommend finger tight, but certainly no, not to over tighten. So the first action will be to set up the bearings. The sleeve there I will fit at the end. This is the outside of the frame, the inside of the frame, so I will fit the fixed bearing from the inside. That's located there. Pull this fences back. Now I can put one of the bearings and then drop it in. As you can see there is some float here, so I can use this fence with the alignment marks at the edges. To set it up to ensure that it is in fact level. If you want to use other methods of um, measuring, feel free. It's a big, big open space, you can use it how you like. With a bit of flux. Put it on my solder. Where's my solder? Nope, found it. Oh. 